Hello there, Mr. Steve is here. Hello, year one. Please work with me. Do you like traveling? Do you like cars and bicycles? I hope you do, but do not travel now, stay at home. But we can travel with the help of our book. If you have a look at your book, page 30 and 31, it's gonna be here on the display, you can work with me. So let's warm up our mouth muscles first. Say, A, play, A, lorry, A, tram, a, 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 underground. Sometimes I disappear a bit because I just want to check that the recording is working well. O, O, A, motorbike. A, cart. Cart, you know, horses or oxen pulled these in the past, especially. Automobile. Automobile. O, Boat. Hotel balloon. What are the colors of this? Orange, yellow, and there's a big brown basket there underneath. Helicopter. And here you can see those special types of vehicles which can help you when we are in trouble. Now, I would like you to help me. Can these special means of transport be used? on land, you know, where it's dry, in the mountains, on the plains, or at sea, you know, on water, or maybe under the ground, deep down there. Let's see. Plane. Yeah, we use this in the air. Lorry. Land. I'm going to symbolize this. You can do the same thing. So, this one flies in the air. I put there, I wrote there the letter A. This one is used on land, so I'm going to write here a big L. Tram, can you help me? L of land. Land, of course. The underground, it's in the name of it. All metro cars are used mostly underground. So I put here a letter U because underground is written like this. Oops. Underground. Yes. Motorbike. Land. Automobile or cars. Land. The boat, a pleasure boat, is used on water and the hotel balloon in the air. The helicopter, once again, in the air. That's it. And if you need help, who can you call? What is that special telephone number we need to know? You know, in Hungary it's one, one, two. You know, if you need to have someone who you love, you need to call this number. So you can remember this, like in this special ride, you know, that can help. One, one, two, I love you. One, one, two, I love you. One, one, two, I love you. Oh, and there's a bit of a coloring here as well. Look at the traffic lights. Could you color these? Red, amber, green. Red, amber, green. What color is amber? Hmm. That's yellow, I think. So please use that color. So red, amber, green. Amber is yellow. Now, I would like to tell you a story. This story is about an outing when children go somewhere special. Maybe I can just turn the display off so the black background is better for us. Okay, so mm, what is happening here? Look at the story. So <coughs> a bus came to the school. The children climbed in. I like going out, said Wilf. Don't push, said Mrs. May. 
You know, in this story, there are special types of means of transport. I would like you to help me. What kind of means of transport is this? Ah, oh, it's a bus. Okay, and can it be used on land, on water, or under the ground? Yes, on land. The bus set off. Hooray! shouted the children. We are going to the zoo! Don't shout, children, said Mrs. May. Beef sat with Chip. We'll sat with Nadim. This is fun, shouted Nadim. It is if you don't shout, said Mrs. May. Oh, please help me. What kind of means of transport is this still? Yeah, the bus. Okay, the bus stopped on the way. The children climbed out. Some children looked at the water. Some children went to the toilet. Don't run away, said Mrs. May, and don't go too near the water. Hmm, can you see a new means of transport, a special vehicle in this picture? Yes, you're right. The boat is there. And it is used on land, water, or in the air. Which one? Yes, on water. Wilf kicked a stone and his shoe came off. The shoe landed in the water with a splash. Oh, Wilf, said Biff. Wilf couldn't get his shoe. He told Mrs. May about it. What a silly thing to do, she said. I don't know what we can do now. When they got to the zoo, it began to rain. The children climbed out of the bus and Mrs. May went to get the tickets. Hmm, so which means of transport is this one here now? Yeah, the bus again. How many wheels does it have? You know, the wheels are right here. One, two at the back, and on the other side two as well. So four all together. Nadim wanted to see the elephants. Wirth wanted to see the lions and Biff wanted to see the crocodiles. I hope the rain stops, said Mrs. May. It rained and rained. The children were fed up. The animals were fed up too. Don't get wet, said Mrs. May. The rain didn't stop, so the children climbed back on the bus. Can we go to the museum? asked Nadim. What a good idea. They went to the museum. This is good, said Wilf. We can see dinosaurs here. I like dinosaurs, said Nadim. Mm. They began to run towards the dinosaurs. Don't run, called Mrs. May. The dinosaurs won't go away. Yeah, but can you see any vehicles here now? Yeah, people just use their own legs, so they keep walking there in the museum. And look at this zebra. You know, in the late 19th century, some English people tried riding on these in Africa. And actually they could. You know, a zebra is a bit like a horse. They looked at a big dinosaur. What is this one called? asked Wilf. I don't know yet, said Nadim. Let's go and see. Biff had her camera. She took a photograph of the dinosaur. What is it called? she asked. It's an Apatosaurus, said Nadim. Oh, you can see the name written here. The children went into a room. A lady told them about dinosaurs and showed them some pictures. I know what that one is called, said Nadim. It's called an Apatosaurus. Good, Nadim, said Mrs. May. The children went to the shop. We've got a book about dinosaurs. Nadim got a model to make. It was a model of an Apatosaurus. I can make it at home. This one is the model, he said. Chip said, come to our house. We can help you. The bus got back to school. It was time to go home. Yeah, so the bus is here again. Thank you, said the children. Thank you for a lovely day. Goodbye, Mrs. May, said Nadim. Can we draw dinosaurs tomorrow? What a good idea, said Mrs. May. Oh, one more means of transport there. It's a pushchair or a pram. It's for toddlers, you know, the people who can't really walk. 
or not that much. Nadiman Wolf went home with Biff and Chip. They went to Chip's room and began to make the model. The magic key began to glow. It's glowing up here. Biff ran to the box and picked it up. Come on, she called. It's time for a magic adventure. Come on, Nadim, called Chip. We are going on a magic adventure. We are going to the land of dinosaurs. Hmm, what an exciting story. You know, the children in this story can fly when the magic key glows. I hope you could fly when you travel somewhere earlier in your life. So, I hope everyone could finish the book and write the different letters there. Keep up good work and we can see each other later, I hope, very soon. Until then, goodbye.